Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of mankind. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. O God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, God of truth and justice, we pray for the repose of the souls of those who we honour today, whose memory we cherish, and of those whose names we do not know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world, and grant us the grace to pray also for those who wish us harm. As we honour the heroes of the past, may we put our faith in thee, for the future. For thou art the source of life and hope. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, the Prince of Peace, 
who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Clive Arthur Keith Cecil George Brook John Laird Galway Irvin Bertie Edward Barton Ernest Self Edward Henry Pellow Richard Henry Abnett Thomas Oakey Alexander Wood Sidney Thomas Abnett Major William Cole Power Macura Maxwell Lindsay McClure Slade Thompson Oswin Crichton Priest Ernest Frank Goodall Nigel Henry King Salter Humphrey Aston Barnes Derek Percy Zachariah Cox Charles William Fisher Edward Coverley Legion Kennedy Horace Parslow John Geoffrey Carr Salmond Hugh Wilfred Napier Seymour Orbital Walter Southern Mallaby Kingsley Osbert Nugent Foster Edward Stephen Fogarty Fegan William Leslie Davidson Donald Alastair Leslie Davidson Colonel Colin Keppel Davidson Arthur William Berry Frank Charles Sherlock Albert Edward Smith Geoffrey Russell Fenton Ernest Henry Montresor Frederick William Lumsden eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and may light perpetual shine upon them. Most gracious God and Father, in whose will is our peace, turn our hearts and the hearts of all to yourself, that by the power of your Spirit, the peace which is founded on righteousness may be established throughout the whole world. We ask this, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
he beginneth the 15th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke. Then drew near unto Jesus all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbours, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be had in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons, which need no repentance. Either what woman, having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle, and sweep the house, and seek diligently till she find it? And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbours together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. Here endeth the lesson. As our Saviour Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for Her Majesty the Queen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, high and mighty, King of kings, Lord of lords, the only ruler of princes, who dost from thy throne behold all the dwellers upon earth. Most heartily we beseech thee with thy favour to behold our most gracious sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, and so replenish her with the grace of thy Holy Spirit, that she may always incline to thy will and walk in thy way. And do her plenteously with heavenly gifts, Grant her in health and wealth long to live. Strengthen her that she may vanquish and overcome all her enemies. And finally, after this life, she may attain everlasting joy and felicity. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen and the Commonwealth, and all people, peace and concord, and to us and all his servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, 
the Son and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>